What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this quick video, I want to answer the question, what is Google Parallel Tracking? How will it affect you? How does it work now? How did it work before? I want to help you answer all these questions by the end of this video that you will see right now. So uh, I know there's a lot of people freaking out and wondering and saying, oh my God, parallel tracking is now mandatory by Google. What do I do? Hopefully I'll be able to resolve and solve your issues. So stay with me until the end if you are one of those people. Before I move on to the next slide, let me begin by saying what is parallel tracking? Parallel, as we know, it means two lines that go together without touching each other. Okay, so they go at the same angle without touching each other. So if one line goes to the side, the other one follows and goes to the side. That's parallel. So what parallel tracking means is rather than having your kind of tracking link clicked on and then follow through to the final URL, now your tracking link is clicked on at the same time as your final URL. So both are clicked at the same time, meaning they're parallel. So it's really parallel clicking, I guess, parallel tracking in this case, because your tracking link is just clicked on at the same time as your primary URL. And so the, the paths that they go to now happen at the same time rather than what AdWords did before, which is what I'll cover on the next slide. So this is parallel tracking. This is what Google does now. And I will show you in an illustration in the upcoming slides. But the way Google had it before is when you added a tracking link in the Google tracking template, the people that searched for your products and landed on your ads in Google, they did not actually click on the final URL that you specified in your Google ads. They would click on your tracking link, which is, of course, the point of that is so that you would track. That's why you use the tracking link. That's why they click on your tracking link, not the final URL. So they would click on the tracking link, go through some redirects if you had any, and finally land on the final URL. Now, this obviously takes time. So to answer your question, why is Google introducing this? Well, to save time, because rather than people clicking on the URL they see, let's say people go to Google, they type in Amazon Store. The, an ad comes up saying, hey, AmazonStore.com, whatever. When people click on it, they want to land on AmazonStore.com, right? They want to land on that final URL. But what would happen before when people click the tracking link, they wouldn't actually land on that first. They would go through some redirects, maybe um, googlestore.com and then go through yahoostore.com, right? Just some silly examples. But what I'm trying to let you know is at the top, if you've ever clicked on Google ads, you may have seen a few redirects sometimes, sometimes a bunch of redirects before landing on your page. And that takes time. That could take anywhere from a millisecond where you immediately almost get to the final URL to a few seconds, maybe five, 10 seconds because of all the redirects. That's possible. And what Google is saying is that this takes away from their customer experience. And of course it does because it takes a long time for them to get what they clicked on. So this is the way it worked before. You would have your tracking link in Google. You would have the final URL but no one would ever use the final URL except for Google to verify that the final URL matched the final ending website that you clicked on when clicking on your tracking link. That was the only reason why you input the final URL in the final URL spot if you were using tracking, okay? Otherwise you would only use the tracking template. So when people click on the tracking link, they go through some redirects, they go to the final URL. That we've established that that causes a time delay. So what is parallel tracking? Well, here's what it is. When your user sees an ad, they do not any longer click on your tracking link. Instead, they click on the final URL immediately. So if you're promoting a ClickBank product, for example, uh, um, right, and you're direct linking, now, instead of having a tracking link with a few redirects in between, people will land directly on that ClickBank product or Udemy. Udemy, um, the solo ad, uh, you, Udemy, I guess I'll say, the solo ad marketplace uh, sometimes adds extra redirects when you are putting your uh, URL um, so that solo ad vendors can promote it, okay? So that's an extra redirect there that goes through Udemy. So if you, for example, promote that on AdWords, 
it will no longer go through Udemy. It will immediately go to your website. That is what the client will now see. The client will no longer have to go through all those redirects, okay? That is awesome for client, for, for client experience, of course. So you may ask, in that case, how does my ad get tracked? What's the point of the tracking template if they only click on the final URL? Well, Google will now actually click on the tracking template, not the client. Google will do it. So at the exact same time that the client clicks on the final URL and lands on it, Google in their back office behind the scenes place, whatever they're doing, will click on that as well. Now, the IP and location of that client will match, obviously, otherwise there's no point in tracking. There's no point in parallel tracking then. Um, they will mimic the click by that person, but they will click on the tracking link. Okay, so Google will do that, not the client. So Google will now see all the redirects rather than the client. So the client experience will be that much better. So here, as you can see, I have this little chart. Um, Google will now click on the tracking link, go through the redirects before landing on the final URL. Okay, so we have some pictures here before and after straightforward i hope that makes sense so why is this mandatory now to increase customer experience what is parallel tracking the clicking of as you can see here the clicking of this final url by the client while at the same time google clicking on the tracking link okay here's the before and after now how does it affect you the final question you probably came here to see if you're using tracking links it will not affect you whatsoever because the only way you get tracking data by using a tracking link is if someone clicks your tracking link. Well, when a user goes straight to your final URL, you will not see any tracking data whatsoever. However, Google will click on your tracking link, so you will get all you need. The only little minor nuisance here is if you're not using a tracking link. If you have code on a page that tracks how many people visit the page by the code on that page. For example, maybe Facebook pixels, maybe um, you're using ClickMagic organic tracking code. And what that's going to do is that will now show one unique click and then one. So it will show one unique click for both of these clicks, but it will now show two total clicks because you have one click coming from the user and you have one click coming from Google. So it will still be unique because Google will mimic everything that the client has is going to mimic the IP. It's going to mimic the country and stuff like that. So it's going to be unique, right? Um, because it's like the same user, but um, it's going to have different clicks. So if, if you are, again, using um, not using a tracking link, using a system which places code on a site, be, you know, be aware that you may have a bit more clicks coming in than your unique clicks because of this. Because now you have the user landing on your final URL and triggering the code. And you now have Google coming in and landing on your final URL and triggering the code, okay? So you have a trigger twice, even though it's the same user. It's only one user clicking on your ad. So that is really how parallel tracking works, how it was before, how it works now, why it's mandatory. I hope you're able to find the answers to all your questions here. If not, let me know down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, you found it valuable, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it, okay? Uh, let me know if you want me to cover anything else down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.